So, is my screen visible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you about the software for teaching and learning mathematics, which is used in all the levels of education. So you can uh, use this uh, software for using uh, primary, you can use for primary level, secondary level and higher secondary level. So what is GeoGebra? So first we can see that what is this GeoGebra? Basically GeoGebra is a dynamic mathematics software this is used for teaching and learning mathematics. GeoGebra, it is like a software you can use for all the levels. You can use for various topics like geometry, algebra, spreadsheets, probability, stats, calculus. You can use all these topics in one engine. So next is what are the uses and the features of GeoGebra? So as we can see that these are the features. So first feature is we can see uh, GeoGebra was created to help the students to get the better understanding of the mathematical topics. They can explore itself, they can create the topics, they can explain everything with the help of GeoGebra. Second, we can use it for active and problem-oriented teaching. So you can use GeoGebra to solve the problems. You can solve various uh, linear, uh, linear equations, various quadratic equations. And third, you can use uh, GeoGebra for uh, practice mathematical experiments and discoveries both in the classroom and at home. You can use the GeoGebra, you can download the GeoGebra and you can use both in the classroom and at home. Next, we have uh, ready to use applets are there. Some resources are already there. You can use these resources, you can explore the resources and after exploration, you can also use it in your classroom. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, ma'am. So uh, next is teachers and students can build the animations and the simulations. You can build your own animations and simulations uh, according to the topic like geometry, graphics, and uh, geometry. So various topics are also there. So next is the availability of GeoGebra. So you can... Uh, okay, what is the availability of GeoGebra? You can download. Please mute yourself, everyone. Please mute yourself. Okay. So where is the availability of this GeoGebra app? It is an open source software. You can use freely and you can download the this app. You can download the software in your desktop, which is, uh, you can see the link is here, www.geogebra.org. And you can also use it in online version. So this is the home page of GeoGebra. In the left-hand side, we can see this is the algebraic window. And in the right-hand side, this is the graphic and the geometric window. In the top, uh, in the top most left corner, you can see these are the toolbars, and in the right hand, in the bottom, you can see this is the input bar. So, what are the components of GeoGebra? So, first component is graphy. So you can plot various functions with the sliders and you can also solve the equations. Second feature is, second component is the geometry. You can create interactive geometry constructions and you can use these constructions and you can uh, use uh, these constructions for, uh, uh, for solving various properties. 3D graphics, you can plot the graph you can create your functions, you can create the plane surface and the 3D surface, and you can also explain the 3D objects. Fourth one is the CAS CAS. In, with the help of CAS, you can solve the mathematical problems with the power of the geometric system. And the fifth one is the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, you can analyze the various data that you can use in the statistics and you can connect with the graph. 
Last one is the probability. You can visualize various parameters and distributions quickly. Okay. So, next, what are the examples of using GeoGebra? So, first, you can visualize various abstract concepts. And next, uh, we have a representation and experiments so that students can make connections with various properties. And they can also discover the various properties related to that particular topic. GeoGebra geometry. You can see that uh, these are the, uh, this is the circle properties they are explaining. And the next is the parabola. So this is the GeoGebra 3D. And this is the GeoGebra spreadsheet. And why we are using GeoGebra? So GeoGebra comes with an easy to use interface. And many features, you can create your resources, you can modify your cases, uh, resources, and also you can share the simulations with uh, your teachers and students. Next, uh, it comes with the multiple platforms and dynamic math software that brings the tables, graphics, geometry, algebra, calculus, all things in a So the major highlight of this uh, mathematics session, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the GeoGebra software. Okay, so I'm stop sharing my screen first. Just we have to type for online GeoGebra, you just type geogebra.org and then you can press enter. So this is the geogebra window. This is the home page. Okay. So in the home page, we can see the resources here and in the top most right corner, we have uh, various types of geogebra, but basically we are using geogebra classic here. So when you Go to resources, you can see the various mathematics topics like algebra, geometry, measuring, number sense, operations, probability, and statistics. So, various topics are there. And we have some uh, ready made resources that you can uh, take an idea from that resources and you can make your own source. So, highlighted resources are there, identifying the angles, multiplying the fractions, describing the rotation of figures and comparing the dates of change. So all the resources according to the topic price, since the algebra has patterns, division, equation. So for middle school, we have topics for sixth to eighth class. And for upper up elementary, we also have a topic. So it covers many topics from the primary level to higher secondary level. So I have already downloaded this app. You can also download this app with the help of geogebra.org. You can download the app. So once when you download this app, Just a second. I'm sharing my screen. Just a second, everyone. I'm opening my already downloaded GeoGebra app. So this is. I'm sharing my screen once again. Okay. Is my screen visible to all of you? Anyone can uh, give me the response? Is my screen visible to all of you? Yes, madam. So, have you understood how to uh, go to GeoGebra? Is anyone uh, using GeoGebra app or the GeoGebra software?
Okay, so now I'm going to explore what is GeoGebra and how it works. So first you can see that in the left hand side, this is the algebraic window and the right hand side is the graphic window. So in the top most left corner, these are our tools parts. So this is the arrow in the drop down. So once when we click this arrow, we have some more options there like move. You can move your figure, move around the point and you can also make the free hand shapes and you can use the pen. And second toolbar, we have a, if you want to create, if you want to put a point, then you can use a point. Then if you want a point on some object, you can use this uh, tool. Okay. And if you want to intersect, so some uh, tool, some tools are also there for using the, for using the, uh, for solving the equations and for other activities. Third toolbar is for basically for line. If you want to create a line or a line segment, if you want a particular line segment with given length, then you can use this toolbar. Fourth, if you want a perpendicular line, parallel line at the perpendicular bisector, then you can use this window. So similarly, we have polygon. If you want to create a polygon, regular polygon, or a rigid polygon, then you can use this tool. Fifth is a circle with center through point. You can make a circle uh, with, a, with a single point and also you can make a circle with center and radius. Next, you can uh, make an ellipse, hyperbola, parabola by just clicking. And uh, another one is the angle. If you want to make an angle in a particular figure, then you can also make an angle. And if you already have an angle with the size, then you can also make this angle. And if you want to calculate the distance particular length or the uh, measurement of particular angle then you can use this uh, next is the reflection about the line if you want a reflection then you can use this this is in major features like slider if you want some particular values and if you want to drag this some other values then you can use this slider this is the ABC text if you want a particular uh, algebraic equation, if you want to write the algebraic equation, then you can use this ABC text. And if you want to put an image in your graphic window and any other window, then you can use this. This is for OK button and there's a small checkbox, input box. So, and the last one, you can easily zoom in and zoom out. And if you want to show the hide object, or you can, if you want to show the label, then you can also use this. So today I'm going to explain you one of the topic that is factorization of polynomial. So how to factorize a simple polynomial with the help of GeoGebra. So I'm going to explain it. With this, uh, firstly, we have to take a text, a text. So I'm going to factorize one of the quadratic equations which is uh, x, if you want to put a square, then we can use the symbols, basic symbols. In the right hand side, you can see basic symbol for square and cube. I'm clicking on square. So now I have x square plus 3x plus 2. So this is my algebraic equation. And now I'm going to is this. Okay, so how it will work. So this is our algebraic equation x square plus 3x plus 2. So as we can see that if we divide this equation in three parts, uh, one of the part, I'm using this pen, one of the part is x square, second part is 3x, and third part is 2. Right. So now I'm going to make a x square. Yani I'm going to make a square with side x. And 3x means I'm going to make a three rectangles with side x. And 2 means I'm going to make a two squares. Okay. For x square, I'm fixing the value for x like three units. So in every point of x, I'm taking x as three units. So how to make a square with three units for this? Ma'am, please uh, uh, repeat again uh, that x square plus one, uh, uh, how to uh, drag that box 
x square plus uh, x okay. plus one. Okay, sure, sir. Okay, sure, sir. Okay, sure, sir. For this, sir, uh, you have to see there is a second last option, ABC text, sir. You have to click on ABC text window. So this is the graphic window. Now you can type x square plus 3x plus 2. Is this clear, sir? Ma'am, x square, how to draw the x square? X okay, also x already square. here. Okay, okay, sir. So you will have to type x. For square, sir, you can use the symbols. In basic, we yes. have a square symbol. You have to click on basic and in the right most corner, this is an option for square. Yes, yes, uh, got it. Got it? Okay. And plus? For plus, sir, you can use the basic symbols also there. Plus minus here. Right. From the keyboard, huh? Uh, or you can type from your keyboard. This is this is the basic symbol that we can also have in keyboard. Plus sign. Yes, sir. Thank you. For creating x square, I'm going to make a square. For a square, I'm taking this rigid polygon, not regular polygon. I'm going to make a rigid polygon with x three units. So. This is for rigid polygon, you have to take four points. As you can see that there are instructions below, just below the rigid polygon, select all the vertices and first vertex again or select a polygon. So I'm selecting this first, then second point, and then this third point, and now fourth. So I have a square x square so i'm fixing x as a three unit it has three units x equal to three units right you can also take some other units okay so this part is x Okay, so now I have to take 3x. 3x, we need three rectangles. So we can take some rectangle in horizontal form and some in vertical form. The same procedure will follow for this. We make a rigid polygon again. For this, I'm taking one of the unit as x. This is I have taken. So this is, what is this? This is what is this? What is the area of this rectangle? This is x and this is y. So we have x into 1 that is x. So similarly, we can make two more rectangles for 3x. So for two more rectangles, you can also click on this. Okay, so again, I'm using this rigid polygon. So I'm quickly now making three more rectangles. Three uh, for this, 11 from um, 12, 13. From 10 to 1, 2, 3, 3 units from 1, 2, 3. So for two squares, we need a square with one unit. So that is, uh, we can make two into one, two squares. So for two, again, I'm making two squares. Okay, so now you can change the color of your object. So our first object is a square. 
So how we can change the colors? We have some object properties. You can show the object. You can also label your object and rename. If you want to name, if you want to give the name to your object, you can also give the name. And ob object properties. So object properties, we have a color options, basic and color. So I'm going to change the color of this object in orange. So very right. So I have changed the color. You can also change the color of this object also by using the same method, color options. Right. So I'm changing the color of this object by not taking in much more time. Okay. Our next uh, two squares are also there. So object properties. So I'm just taking red color. Right. And for this, I'm taking another color. In light green. Okay. Is there any problem for the uh, thin now the for the activity? Okay, so now I'm proceed for, uh, further. So now I'm going to explain you this was x square plus three x plus two. So now we arranging all the figures. For this we have to take the move option. So I'm moving this. So this is x square part. And this is x part. I'm taking one more x part, right? One more x part like this, okay? And square part, I'm arranging like this. And second square part is this. So now what we observe? In the left-hand side, this is x. This unit is 1 and this unit is 2. What we have? So I'm taking this pen option. This unit is one. So what is total? Total is, can someone tell me what is the uh, breadth of this object? What we get? Can anyone? Yes, x plus one. And what about this, sir? Yes, x plus two. So, so what we get? Yes, sir. Exactly. Sir, please mute yourself. Okay. So now what we get exactly? This is the x square. This is 1, 2, 3. This is 3x and this is 2. So x square plus 3x plus 2 will be factorized as x plus 1 and x plus 2. Can explain in the classroom. And you can also use uh, for uh, subtraction also. Should I give one more example for this, sir? Does anybody want one more example for negative? Okay, if I'm taking... Madam, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, let us... Uh, let Why me did you take X and 3 units? Uh, uh, please, please, only one. Please yes, ma'am. Madam, why did you take x as 3 units? It's just a supposition or? Uh... Extra 3 units, ma'am? Uh -huh, you uh, have considered x uh, as 3 units in the graph. Yes, uh, actually I have to plot the points. That's why I have already fixed the value of x as 3 units. You can fix any other value of x. You can fix 4 units, 2 units, any value. Because it is a graphical window, so I'm taking graphical uh, value of x as 3 units. So even in the graph, I can take x as any value. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, madam. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, can you give me one example? Oh, sir, I'm not able to understand. Please, one by one. Yes. Can you give me one example with minus x square minus? Okay, three. okay. So I'm uh, explaining. You, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, please. Uh, how to move this? Uh, that the blocks. Uh, okay, uh, for bikes. moving the blocks, sir. Moving the blocks, you have to go to this left hand side of most uh, toolbar. We have a move option. Okay. Yes. So when you click on this move option, then you have to click on your object. What object you have to do? Okay. 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 So, done. Done. Yes. So I'm taking same objects, 
for uh, our next equation. So first I'm writing the equation by pen. So next equation is x squared minus 3x. Okay. Minus 3x plus 2. Right? So how to use uh, the this uh, graphical window? Ma'am, how are you writing this one, ma'am? Ma'am, sorry, how are you writing this one, x squared? Okay, sir, I'm writing this with the uh, by using this pen in the move. Just uh, below the move, we have a pen option. Then you can use this pen and a free handshake. You can also create a free handshake. So I'm okay, using okay, this okay. last option. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm going to explain with x square minus 3x plus 2. So same, actually, I have taken already... Uh, to uh, one square, three rectangles, and two squares, but for subtraction, I'm using. So again, I'm choosing this option for move. Yes. For move, we have to subtract three rectangles from x squared. So I'm subtracting one of the rectangle, right? And for the next, putting this is and one more rectangle I'm going to subtract. So what part is left? The remaining part we left, we can explain also that uh, we have subtracted two squares two times. Right? We have subtracted two squares two times in this rectangle and in this rectangle. So it means we have to add two squares. So I'm going to change the color option so that I can explain. Okay. And one more I'm going to I'm taking blue color for this. Okay. This is already we have subtracted two squares. So I'm putting one square. I'm adding this one square and two squares. So how much area is left? This, uh, I'm using pen, this pen. Is it to all of you? Yes. So this area is left. So what is the value of this area? This is the length and breadth of this area. X minus one. And what about this area? Can any can anyone tell what about the value of this part? Anybody from the participants? X minus two. Yes, x minus two. Yes, exactly. We have x minus two. So what is the factorization of x square minus three x plus two? We got the result. That is x minus 1. Minus yes, minus exactly. One. x minus 1 and x minus 2. So this is, uh, you can use this uh, property. You can use the algebra in the classroom to factorize the polynomial. So the student can relate itself how uh, we are going to add the squares and rectangles and how we are uh, factorizing polynomial sure. equation. Okay, so we can explore this. So uh, now I'm going to take a new window actually. So, to explore uh, more uh, properties, okay, for new window, for new window, you can use this new window, just left uh, when click on file button, we have a new window, so this is the new window. So you can also save your uh, activity in your desktop and uh, if you want to share this uh, activity with the, your students then you can also share the link okay and you can also share with online form okay so uh, now i'm going to perform yes sir ma'am please uh, this uh, x square minus 3x uh, plus 2 uh, please yes, repeat sir. again ma'am please please ma'am uh, just disconnected poor network poor okay. network Okay, sir, yes. I'm quickly explained. Quickly, quickly, just, yes. just to record. Okay, sir. For x square minus 3x plus 2, 
Okay. Just do it undo undo madam undo. Uh, okay okay undo. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I make the figures movable first. We will take square. Ah, square. Then yes. Then we will adjust one rectangle. Then yeah. we are subtracting. Actually, we are subtracting three rectangles. So that's why we are subtracting three. from the figure itself. Okay. Now we are subtracting second rectangle and third rectangle. We can see that this procedure, these two squares subtracted two times. So we have to add two more squares here. Yeah. So I'm adding one square and this two square. So now our remaining part will be this, this one. Yes, yes. Yes, this part is the remaining part. And this value is x minus one. And what about this? This value is x minus two. Yeah. So that's Thank why you, we yes. Okay. 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 I'm taking new window for new activity. circle with center through point and you can construct a circle. So I'm now I'm going to explain you circle properties. Now, how to save this one, ma'am? Sir, uh, from the top, uh, what's up? Can you explain you? Uh, can you repeat your question? Uh, how to save this one? Save this one. If you want to share, sir, so we, you can save the file and after that you can uh, share. Okay. I asked yeah. the, how to save, save this one. Yes, how to save. save. Okay, save. For saving this, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is save. You can save with your file name and it will be automatically saved in your system. Okay. Okay, in, okay. Yes, sir. Actually, I'm using this GeoLibra offline. In offline. Okay. I have already downloaded the software. Okay. Okay, ma'am. If uh, you are going to use the software in online mode, then you can uh, share with uh, your email ID or in your WhatsApp number. Okay. So for the next uh, circle with center through point, can we? So I'm making a circle with center and radius. So I'm putting the value of radius as five centimeter. So, I want to move my figure. So, the diameter, if you want to explain a diameter, what is diameter? So, then you can use this line. Any line that passes through the center of the circle is the diameter of the circle. But uh, the diameter is the longest. So this is. Ma'am, screen is not uh, saying, ma'am. This one, uh, did you uh, taking this one, the new new window, ma'am? Are you new taking window. new? Yes, sir. New? I'm taking new window. Uh, yes, sir. But new the window, older sir. one is seeing. The but older one is seeing here. Yeah. Okay. Previous one. Screen is not refreshed. Okay. Is the same problem with all participants? Yes, madam. Yes, yes, madam. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.
Wait just a second, everyone. Control N, uh, we'll get new, ma'am. Okay. Can see the new window? No, ma'am. Okay. Now? No, Not at. Just control N, do it, uh, get. Don't want. Control N, N. Stop sharing my screen. First, I am stop sharing my screen, and again, I will. Just a second. Okay. Wait a minute. Now. Yes, ma'am. Are you able to? Okay. Okay to everyone? Okay. Can you see my new window? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Same. Thank you, sir. So now I'm going to explain you circle properties. For this, you can make a circle with given radius. So I want to make a circle with radius 5 centimeters. So I'm putting the value of 5 centimeters. Five. So you have to just write 5 only. So now I have a circle with 5 centimeters radius. Right? Okay. You plane radius. So you can mark the radius here. For this, firstly, you have to take some points here. So I'm taking some points on the circle. Okay. And now you can you know, explain with the help of segment because for segment we need two points. So you have to take selecting these points. Ma'am, only so, window is appearing, ma'am. Your doing work is not appearing. Not appearing. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just a second. I think I have opened many windows. Alex, please say I have It is not showing. Yeah, Is this visible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and uh, I am drawing some line. Is my line is visible? My line is visible, sir. I have drawn some lines. Uh, no, ma'am. No. Okay. Software in the offline. Okay, I can use in the online work. Okay. So I'll stop sharing. Okay. Okay. So I have opened the new window. 
Okay. What happened to this? Maybe they have some issues. Can I minimize it when recording this meeting? Okay. Yeah, I'm continuing with my PPT. Now, everyone, can you able to screen, uh, see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm using this uh, software online. So these are the dots you can see. So I'm using this GeoGebra Classic. Okay, so I'm explaining the circle properties. For circle properties, I have we can take a radius. So I'm taking radius five centimeter. If I want to make this figure in pebble form. Okay. So I want to take some points on the circle to explain the properties. So these are the properties. No, sorry, these are the points. And for line segment, we can explain. Okay, for line segment, we have instruction. We, aapko, you, uh, you have to select the two points, right? So I'm selecting two more points. Okay. Okay, so our center is A, right? So what properties we have learned from the circle? Uh, one of the property is an uh, angle in the same segment are uh, equal. So we can explain the angles. We can put the angle here. For angles, we have to select the three points. So I'm selecting these three points, one, B, C, and E. So we got the measurement 78.47 degrees. Second, I'm selecting B, D, and E. So this is also 78.47 degrees. So you can explain the uh, angle in the same segment of a circle are equal. And uh, one of the important property, the angle at, uh, at the center is always double at any remaining point of the circle. So you can explain this again by using these three points, B, A, and E. So this value, 156.95 degree is double the value of 78.47. So this property you can explain. So various properties you can explain with the help of this circle properties. But uh, some other features we can also see. So when you click on the right hand side, these dots, these three dots, we have some other features, like we have a 3D graphics, graphics to spreadsheets. So now I'm going to explain in 3D graphics. So now I got the same figure in 3D graphics, right? 
if you want to make uh if you want to make a cool right so how we can make a cool for the cool we have to put the points we have to take the and uh, now we can put the radius so i'm taking five centimeters so in the movable form you can explain in the classroom right so this is the cone and this is the 3d wave right yeah. as you all can see this is the 3d view of cone and if you want to make a cylinder with a combination of solid you can also make a cylinder so how to make a cylinder the instruction is there selecting points and then enter the radius so I'm selecting two points. The point is here. Point is here. And now you can take the same radius five centimeter. So make the figure in paper form. So I have drawn the slater also. Right. We have a, a circle in the plane figure circle, and we can show the cone, and we can also show the cylinder. So we have some other options. We can explain pyramid, prism, cone, cylinder, tetrahedron, cube. You can also make a cube. For cube, you can select the two points and other corresponding objects, and also you can make a net of any polyhedron figure. So I'm going to explain you how to. Ma'am. Ma'am, sorry, ma'am. How to draw these three figures on one platform? Which figures? One. Uh, how to three uh, three of uh, three objects? One uh, one is uh, that is uh, cone and that okay. is uh, and cylinder Slim. and this one. One platform. How to draw this one? Okay. How you draw? Sir, you can select. Uh, you can take the three. Yeah, already I know the how to prepare, but uh, one in one space they draw it, ma'am. Okay, in one space. For this, you can also make a new window. Actually, yes, I have already taken. Yes, sir. So, okay. Not working. Oh, okay, not working. Actually, maybe some network issues is there. Which you will check here. graphics right so okay firstly i'm first i'm going to explain you what is how to form the net okay so for this uh, we can make a cube here and we can explain how to make a net so we have to select the two points and other corresponding objects so if you want to explain in the classroom the net this is the net and you can also so this is the net of cube and net of so you can make the combination i think you are asking for combination of solids right yeah ma'am um, Okay. Uh, so please rename yourself with the name of the state. If we are going to make a phone first. Okay. With five centimeters. And I will say five. Okay. And then cylinder. If this is the common sir, you have to explore all the things. Okay. Okay. You can, you can explain it. You can you can adjust according to your requirement. Okay. You can take the measurements. You can take x axis, y axis, and z axis according to that. 
So now I'm going to switch to my presentation as we have a time crunch. So I'm going to explain you some what your lab experiments for mathematics, which is available on the show. Can you all uh, see my screen? You have to just type picture. Can you all see my screen? The older one is seen. Yes. Can you all see my screen? I have opened the Diksha platform. No. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Same. So, uh, in Diksha, we have uh, simulations uh, that we already had a session uh, for to virtual labs. So, uh, now I'm going to explain you some experiments on mathematics, which is available on Diksha from class 6 to 12. Okay. So, for Diksha logging, uh, you have to just start Diksha. So, these are the verticals of Diksha Nipun Bharat Mission. So, in the last thought, we have a virtual labs. Right, you have to just okay. click on the explore button. Now we are reaching to virtual labs from class six. So, when you uh, click on explore button to class six, we have a uh, content for Hindi medium and English medium. Right now, it is available for English medium only. So, today I'm going to explain you one of the activities from class nine of mathematics. So, in the right hand side. This is the table of content. This is okay. In this table of content, when you click on the topic, we have an activity. We have a lab manual activity. So we have a PDF of lab manual activity. But with the PDF, we have some explanation resources. Okay. So like uh, in area of trapezium, we have a PDF of uh, area of trapezium, but we also have uh, explanation resources. So when you click on explanation resources, then we get the link. So you have to just click on link. We have a theory related to the topic. What is the objective of the topic and the proof of the topic, the proof for the student uh, uh, used to do in the classroom. And we have a procedure, procedure that a student follows in the classroom for the real lab. And we also have a procedure that the student will follow in the simulation. So here we have an animation video. So this animation video is basically related to the simulation of that student, what they are going to explain in the simulation. So one short video is there. So the main highlight of this virtual lab is the simulator. So to start the simulator, we will just click on start. So this is the window. Yeah. As you can see that in the left hand side, we have instructions to create a trapezium. So for to create a uh, trapezium, base length. So I'm taking base length four and uh, enter the second base length. I'm taking five and uh, height I've already taken four. So what we have to do, enter the, all the values we have entered. Now just click on draw trapezium. So I have drawn the trapezium. Right. So you can create a replica of the same trapezium by just clicking on the older one. So older one, we just clicked on the older one and I'm getting this new one. So now we have to rotate this by 180 degree. So basically what we are going to explain, we are going to explain uh, to find the area of trapezium. We are finding area of trapezium with the help of parallelogram. So I'm making this parallelogram. So what the uh, influence is there in the bottom, you can see we observe that the parallelogram ASPD is formed by joining the two trapeziums. So area of parallelogram ASABCD. So area of trapezium ABCD is the half of the area of the parallelogram. And what is the area of the parallelogram? Base into height. And what is base here? Base is DB. 
and how to take dp dp as dc plus cp that is we always get area of trapezium is half into the sides into height so this is these type of simulations are there so we have a self evaluation question for the, the topic you can submit your answers so that you can check the answers by submitting so i'm submitting an answer is correct second answer is also correct so these are the answers so we have 200 and uh, we have total 218 experiments but for mathematics we have 36 experiments more experiments are also on the uh, pipeline and it will be uploaded uh, it will be uploaded uh, in the end of uh, November. I can also explain one of one thing, one more experiment. So how to reach? Okay, I think uh, yes, our room is just going to close. It will be closed in fifty-two seconds. Is there any query regarding the virtual lab, sir? Um, okay. Yes, we are waiting for the session. Was there any issue? To virtual labs. Okay, all breakout rooms will close in 26 seconds and we will go back to our main session. Okay, everyone. Ma'am, yes, sir. Uh, that virtual lab, the last dot you have to enter, ma'am. Last dot for virtual lab. Dot is there for virtual labs. Last dot. Yeah. You last have to dot. just click. That's why all the participants have returned to the main meeting. So okay. don't worry. Majorly, sir, must have covered yeah, all the tools. Attendance is not good, ma'am. Attendance is not good. Pardon, sir. Attendance. Afternoon attendance. Attendance, yes, we are about to send the link and we are about to announce the scene. So just wait for a few minutes. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, yes. Information about other languages also, ma'am. Okay. Okay, other languages, for example? Hindi. Canada, Telugu, like that. Okay, we will convey your message to our uh, head, ma'am, and in charge. And yeah, we'll come let you know. That's why we are asking. Yeah, we'll let you know once I'll discuss with ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I would like to thank all the resource persons for 